today i want to sleep for 8 hours minimum and when you program automatically dot to that dot you will go to sleep for example you say you want to sleep at 10 o'clock you go to sleep at 10 o'clock and you want to wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning at sharp 559 you will wake up you need not have an alarm so do you have control over this you don't have kechri mudra gets you control over your inert systems this inert system is that mind heng kelsa madutte manasu andaga adanna naavu program madkoltivi kechri mudra makes you or gives control over the inert system of yourself of your body when you have control or when you get control over the inert system of yourself then you will understand the beauty of this number 2 you get control over the inert system after one you will get number 2 what is that second point that second point is you want to do sadhana somewhere you have heard uh, that yogi or that gentleman or my friend of mine can stand for 2 hours 3 hours 4 hours i cannot stand for such a long time i'd like to sit down after an hour or after a half an hour after an half an hour i would like to sit down most of you understand that when you stand in a queue after 5 minutes or 10 minutes you will feel tired i want to sit down then somebody bed there if there is no seat around somebody has to give you or get you a seat then you'll say thank you very much Oof, you feel so relaxed after 5 minutes so a soldier who is trained for example a soldier who is trained as a sentry or as a guard or somebody he can stand for 3 hours or 4 hours till the other gentleman or the other guard relieves him so he can stand for 4 hours so he is trained ok i am not telling you to stand up for 4 hours 3 hours no what i am trying to tell you is even this kind of a tiredness this kind of a fatigue this kind of you are feeling bored because your mind is relax too much without and that mind takes solace when the body gives rest then the mind also rests when the mind is at rest then the body is also at rest when the mind is active then you would also like to feel the body is active but the you feel the body is working against you i just like to sit down then what happens after a sit down you would like to have a drink a coffee tea or a juice then you will feel fresh this kind of a fatigue or this kind of a tiredness goes away when you start practicing kechri mudra why is it so because this kind of a tiredness or a mental fatigue comes to you comes to you the inert system of the body where all your nerves your spine and your muscles take the strain of the inert system in the body when the mind is not active the body is 
not active because that is the way you have been trained. Understand? When you do Kechri Mudra, then automatically the inert system of your body takes over, this Kechri Mudra takes over and recharges, replenishes the vital air. The vital air, the vital breath inside your body and that breath gives you vitality to the maximum. So where is that? The vitality gets into your body on your muscle system, in your nerve system, in your whole of yourself. The mind, the body and the self is charged with new energy. This is just a simple example. So what happens? You feel fresh. When you feel fresh, you will feel extremely active in your body. So what happens? Kechari Mudra gives you total freshness for that already tired inert body of yours. What happens? When you sit down, then you like to stretch your legs. And if need be, you would also like to say, I'll spread my legs. That means I'll stretch my legs on some other chair or some other table or whatever. I don't like to rest my legs on a floor. So what happens? The inert system has become not active, has become submissive. You understand? Not active and submissive. So your muscle systems take that strain of these legs and these strains get into the inert system of your body and when you do Kechri Mudra, that inert system of the body becomes alive and active and filled with energy throughout the day till finally you sleep in the night. That is how either a yogi you understand that not the difference, the similarity between a trained yogi and between a trained soldier. So the similarity between a trained soldier and a yogi is very less. Wherein a soldier does not understand Kechri Mudra, but with that kind of a stern discipline, he is able to tune his body nerves and the aching muscles. He knows how to relax. Or it can be a martial expert. He is also called as some kind of a training he undergoes. Wherein all of you as a disciple, you are only concentrating on your inert system and you say, my body is weak or my muscles are weak, I don't have the strength, I don't have the willpower, I don't have the energy to conduct myself in life. And most of the time, 99% of the time, you have what we call it as submissive willpower. You should convert your submissive willpower to subjective willpower. You should subject your willpower not to submissive willpower. When you get some kind of a interest, especially money, wealth, that is wealth or money, as well as some kind of a power, then only you will come into active mode. Otherwise, you will always understand your willpower is submissive most of the time. Only when you come to that kind of a sadhana, when you understand sadhana, that means you don't belong to that submissive willpower category. You belong to the active willpower category. A sadhak 
should be filled with activity of passion understanding his will power he will feel energetic when he feels active or when you understand what is activity and what is what is will power then both of that combined together your mind will start answering you that you are dynamic what is dynamism what is dynamic activity your mental activity should know what is fatigue and what is activity the mind it is there in the mind which tells you you are active or whether you are passive that means whether you have an activating will power or you have a submissive will power so you understand these two you know what is the difference kechri mudra makes you understand and makes you feel extremely active to that point of being dynamic in your nature you understand you are a potential dynamic energy you are not a submissive energy you are not a passive energy you have to be a kind of active energy dynamic energy this is the beauty of that and kechri mudra only takes care of the inert system of you somberi tana laziness sloth it covers kechri mudra covers these two inert systems of your body there will be that kind of a positive and not a passive positive dynamic power inside you you have to understand i am a positive dynamic will power that positive dynamic will power is incorporated in you already it is only your sloth and your mental state of and that mental state is not acting you to be in proportion with your activity you are disproportionate to your kind of a mental activity we are not telling you to be physically active we are telling you to be mentally active and kechri mudra gives you that kind of a dynamism this is very important you have to understand this is the way i have to not to push yourself just sitting at a place you just understand the dynamic part of you you should understand that dynamic part of you you all understand the sloth part of you the inert part of you the passive part of you the somberi part of you how to activate this you cannot go at this age you cannot run 10 kilometers 15 kilometers you cannot run a marathon you just have to recharge your inert systems recharge your inert system such a way that kechri mudra gives you total dynamism of yourself and what is the result of this according to sanatana dharma and according to the yogic practice in sanatana dharma you see lot of yogis you will see lot of yogis doing this kind of a kechri mudra this is a yogic practice so when they do this kind of a practice you will understand that they can go anywhere anywhere in their mind and over a period of time practicing this kechri mudra 
along with the mind the body also the mind takes the body remember that old saying what is that old saying just if you have a dynamic thought and that dynamic thought can move heavens and earths that kind of a dynamism can change the very concept of dynamism itself on the dynamic energy horgada hobekare ond kade kootkondo that's how most of these people work they sit in an air conditioned room and they say okay you so and so you move this place and the, to this place they are able to move mountain they are over able to completely raise down a mountain and then instead of a mountain they can raise so many other buildings in that place a hillock they'll reduce they can reduce to ground level they can make it come to ground level and in that another tall skyscraper can come the terrain changes changes they can do in just a small example hundreds of such examples i can give you likewise with kechri mudra you can be so dynamic in such a way yogis have tele transported themselves from some place to some other place and these yogis change their very nature let us say from such and such a place point a to point b in himalayas whatever may be the thousands of kilometers in between they can access not in the mind by sheer dynamism with kejri mudra they control the air in the body and this kejri mudra makes them transport themselves into some other place shankaracharya was one after hearing his mother's death right from the himalayas he came down to kaladi within no time you have many yogis who are do- doing this you have seen swami rama doing it you have seen swami rama's guru doing that hundreds of time and this common place is like tibet tibet was the land shangrila in shangrila people used to tele transport themselves down from that high tibet they used to come down even to kanyakumari and from kanyakumari they used to go back all within seconds we have many incidences or instances like that and we have been we are doing that of that so don't be enamored because your will power with an intention with kejri mudra whatever you desire your desiring is not a right word because desire becomes materialistic i'm talking about to go to the higher self you go to your higher self you have a self called as the soul you go to your higher self called as the spirit in you that spirit is something which consolidates both the your own spirit along with the higher spirit called as the paramatma in sanatana dharma your atma attaches itself to the paramatma the higher spirit your spirit is a let us say one to the one to the power of one and your higher spirit as n to the power of n so where is your spirit one to the power of one which is one only and where is your higher self n to the power of n infinity so when you attach your one to that n to the power of n higher self then what is the gap between there is no gap it is almost 
it is almost you are traveling not at the speed of light much more than the speed of light and that is what our scriptures have said now you are here now you are not there now you are there now you are not there kechri mudra that is why this is called as the higher mudra of the higher self this is not the mudra for you this is the mudra of your higher self your atma gets linked to the paramatma just like one small bogi gets attached to a uh, to an engine so when that bogi gets attached to an engine then the bogi as well as the engine is carried over likewise your self gets attached to the higher self your atma gets attached to the higher self and both of you go you have seen back to the future you have seen that movie back to the future now you will understand what is back to the future and you know that movie was in three parts back to the future 1 back to the future 2 back to the future 3 and all these yogic practice if you understand what is back to the future you will understand all these yogic practices all these yogic practices which was already pertaining in the sanatana dharma so you prove yourself you attach yourself to your own self and from your own self you attach yourself to your guru and your guru let him decide where to take you how to take you what to take you and when to take you let that guru decide this is only the activity from your shoulder higher up you have a wonderful brain sadhana plus brain plus a sadhana practice takes you and transports you to your higher self so practice this kechri mudra and take it very seriously you follow it you understand it now you follow it with intense practice then automatically you will get some little bit of some kind of a third dimension you will get so remember that you first lock yourself an understanding these three avasthas of yourself susupti jagrata swapna your mind is always in that swapna state when you are in jagrata your mind will be thinking in that susupti thinking of something called as fantasy come back to reality to understand even fantasy you should understand that idu nartha madkondre you will understand how wonderful being you are as a disciple you understand these three states of energizing yourself you have to become dynamic energy you just don't have to become a passive inactive energy you are going to be dynamic and active energy all right jamata all right agli